Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a little mini Lush haul. On a side note, I'm really sorry if I sound a little stuffy. It's just been one of those days where sometimes it's not the best day. You know, if you get what I'm saying. Not every day is good. <laughs> now, let me just say for starters, um, I actually have never been to a Lush, but I'm totally pro-bath and I'm pro putting things in my bath. However, when I do put things in my bath, it's normally just like oils or bath salts or things that I've made myself to put in the bath. I've never been to a Lush, so I went, and I am extremely excited to use all of these because, like I said, I'm a big bath supporter. I love them. Uh, it's just nice to get home and relax, and like I said, when I do put something in my bath, it's normally like an oil or a bath salt or something. I've never, like, went out to Lush and used all the Lush products, but I've heard good things, and I'm really excited. So, for starters, I picked up this one. And, oh, it smells amazing. Um, it's called Intergalactic. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like in the bath because I've never used uh, this in the bath. But I'm really excited. It's kind of got a shimmer to it, so it's got a little bit of sparkle. Um, maybe you can see it sparkling around. And it's got some pink and yellow all through the middle of the blue, so I'm assuming that it's going to look awesome. Those colors are going to look cool when they dissolve into the bath water. And I'm not a sickly sweet person. I don't like sickly sweet smells. I like fresher sweet smells and just fresh scents and like minty scents and things like that. Just scents more that make me feel clean when I get out of the bath. And uh, sickly sweet scents don't. They make me feel like I have a coat of sugar on my skin, and I don't really like that. Um, I like minty and fresh things that make me feel refreshed. And this is one that I picked up that I liked because I thought it did just that. It smells like, I don't know, fresher. Let's read the description, shall we? Intergalactic bath bomb, hooked on a feeling. Ever wonder what bathing in deep space would be like? Invite the cosmos into your tub with this interstellar bomb, an awesome mix of refreshing peppermint and neon color will send your mood rocketing while popping candy takes you on a trip around the Milky Way. Before you leap too far, rouge layers of... I actually don't know this word. Vitivert? I don't know. I probably said that way wrong. I don't care. And cedarwood take hold, evoking the warmth of human contact far from home and the hint of 80s aftershave. So, as I was saying, no wonder I picked up this one because I smelt it in the store and I was like, yes, need. Um, it's got a refreshing peppermint scent to it. That's what I'm smelling. But it does smell very fresh, which I like. So I'm excited to give it a shot and, and use it. And it left me blue and sparkly. Next on the list of things that I picked up was this. And so the first one was a bath bomb. And this is a little bubble bar. And oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how good this smells. Oh, it's amazing. So when I picked this up, I actually just wanted it because of how it smelled. Um, I honestly didn't know that it was a Christmas bubble bar. I guess the bell and the little ribbon should have given it away, but I just thought it looked cute. Um, but it's orange, and it looks like it has ginger in it, but it's like got gold sparkle all over it, so I'm assuming this will make me gold and sparkly when I get out of the bath. <laughs> But it smells so good, and I like the fact that it's on, like, this little, like, cinnamon-looking stick. And I really like that. Um, so I'm just gonna, again, read the description to you because no one does it better than Lush themselves on describing their own products. So, The Magic of Christmas is what it's called, and again, I didn't know it was a Christmas product. I just, it smells so good that I would use this any time of the year. Uh, Christmas spice, uh, foam alone, stir up a whole lot of Christmas magic with 
this warming cinnamon stick. It's packed with punchy cinnamon leaf and a fair trade of organic clove. So it's clove, that's what's in there. Um, to warm up the skin while fast forwarding you straight into the festive season. Treat Grinch-like moments by holding the spicy bubble wand under running water and slipping into a blanket of hot almond bubbles. And let me just tell you, I'm really excited to do just that because, oh my gosh, out of everything that I have smelt, this is one of the more heavenly things. I can just sit here and just, like, huff it all day because it smells so good. It really does. Yeah, so this is one of uh, the favorites of things that I have picked up, actually, and I'm really excited to get to use this because it's awesome smelling. Oh, I'm getting gold all over my black pants. I should have laid something down across my lap before filming this because I have more gold things. The next one I picked up is this one. And this one is called The Experimenter, I think. Yes. And uh, it's got five colors to it. So it's blue and pink and then white and orange and it's got a purple layer right in the middle. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, part of the reason I picked this one up is because it's shaped cool and it's got crazy cool colors in it. So I'm assuming again that this will look amazing in the bath. But uh, that is not the only reason I picked it up. I did make sure and give it a little whiff um, <laughs> to see if that I would even like the smell. And to me personally, it is very fresh, but almost in a musky way. I don't know how to explain that to you, but yeah, it's like very fresh, but slightly on the musky side of fresh, if that makes any sense. But I did like the way it smelled, and I love all the colors, and the shape is awesome, so I thought I'd give this one a try to. This one also has just a slight bit of shimmer to it, just like the tiniest bit, like um, the Interstellar one did. I'll read this description to you as well. The Experimenter Technicolor Bathing. Drop this vibrant fizzer into your tub and venture into your very own bath time motion picture. This bathing blockbuster stars vivid swirling colors to enthrall your senses, crackling popping candy, and the sweet comforting fragrances of fair trade vanilla and Tonkin absolutes. It's the most thrilling bath number ever staged. So if that doesn't sound enticing and appealing, I don't know what will, but again, it smells awesome. Uh, I recommend it for smell, at the very least, because it really does, it's, it's great. So, again, excited to try this one out. <laughs> More powder all over my pants. I guess in a way this is almost like a first impressions video too, isn't it? Because I've never been to a Lush. Alrighty, the next thing I picked up and actually, the last of the bath bombs that I picked up is, this one's going to get me completely messy, but that's okay, um, is this one. So it's first off adorable. It's completely gold, and yeah, it's it stains your fingers gold like crazy. It's got this little white bow on it, and it's just a gold little gift. So this one I automatically assumed to be a Christmas one because it was a present, but... Its smell is divine, like, the smell is wonderful, but I'm also going to assume that it's going to leave you with shimmery gold skin when you get out of the bath, so maybe if I go to any festive Christmas parties during the Christmas season, that'll be the time to use this one. But I don't exactly know what it'll do to me, because I've never used it, but I'm just guessing. But I'm going to save it until then, just in case. But it smells awesome. And again, I'll read you the description. It's called Golden Wonder, a wonder to behold. Fancy and uplifting cocktail? 
a zesty lime oils gets this bath party started with mood brightening scents while sweet orange oil refreshes the senses in the water this prison shaped fizzer unwraps itself to reveal glittering gold luster and a sparkling turquoise explosion Ooh, so i'm assuming it has turquoise in the middle which is cool which you can kind of see the little turquoise spots maybe maybe you can't i can uh i'll along it uh, but then it says, don't wait until Christmas Day to bathe yourself in festive luxury. So it is Christmas, which I guessed because of the way it's shaped, and it does smell awesome. That is one of the sweet scents that I'm okay with because it's not necessarily sweet. Sweet is when it smells more citrusy than uh, sweet. This is another one I picked up that I'm super excited for, which I should stop saying that I'm excited for because I really am excited for all of them. Showered in gold again. Gold everywhere. And it's gonna be there forever. Get off of me. Get off. Get off gold. I moved my camera, which I didn't mean to do. So the very, very, very last lashed <laughs> last lush product that I picked up was this Chris Tingle body conditioner. Uh I wasn't too sure how I felt about a body conditioner because I didn't know exactly what a body conditioner was, but by the end of the conversation that I had with the lady working in the store, she had me sold. Uh, and the guy and the other guy working in the store. But by the time that I left, I decided I was going to use it. And um, this is one that I just couldn't wait until after I filmed to use um, because I was super excited to see how it went. So I've already used part of it, and let me tell you, it's great. So it's supposed to be like a replacement for lotion, I suppose. Uh, you're, you just put it on in your shower uh, after you've done everything and washed your body, and then you rinse it off right before you get out, and it just moisturizes your skin and makes it really soft, and it did just that. My only complaint about it is... It didn't do much for my hands for some reason, like the palms of my hands. I don't know if that's because I'm just weird or what, but it had an awesome effect on the rest of my body. And I have an insane lotion ritual. I literally lotion everything when I get out of the shower, head to foot, like to the tip of my toe and my face, everything. I lotion everything when I get out of a shower. So this was awesome, and I was a little bit skeptical because I was like, I paid a lot of money for this, uh, I hope it does what they say that it does and what the tin or what is this, little plastic container says that it does because I'm going to be really disappointed if it doesn't work because uh, it was a real big leap of faith for me to use this and not my lotion, uh, but I did and it worked and it, I was satisfied. This one is just like hit you in your face mint and I love it. It smells super, super fresh. And the funny thing was, was you smell minty even when you get out. Like when you put it all over your body and you rinse it off and you think it's gone. No, you still smell like mint. So if you don't like mint or you don't like powerful amounts of mint, I probably wouldn't use this, but I love it. It makes my body feel fresh and clean and nice, and I love the smell of mint. And it is kind of funny, though, because when I got out of the shower after using this and I smelled all minty, my dog followed me around trying to lick my legs for the rest of the night. But uh, it's it's been awesome so far. And so this little container says Chris Tingle body conditioner a breath of fresh spearmint with nourishing again a word I don't know muru muru and shea butters to condition if I'm saying any of these wrong I'm sorry but yeah so that is everything that I bought I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like I said it was just a mini lush haul not terrible like huge amount of products but I am super excited to try each and every single one of these out um, I will probably be going crazy on Twitter 
as I use these about what I think of them as I use them. So if you care to follow me on Twitter, I'll probably be letting you all know on there what I thought about each and every single one of these. Um, and like I said, I already told you what I thought about the body conditioner. So yeah. And that is all I have for you guys. Uh, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I shall see you guys next time. Bye. That was the weirdest goodbye. Why am I getting weirder and weirder?